First one. Looks like you got a little puppy here. A little puppy Malinois. A little snarling, snapping. Looking like a little tough guy. Like a hyena. They look like hyenas when they get like that. They're really yeah. Weird. All right. So basically it said, my friends, I want to know your opinion about this behavior on the part of the dog. Are you with or against with the explanation why? Okay, here's the thing, right? This is like a multi-part question. Because here's the thing. Like, personally, you know, I have a lot of opinions on personal protection dogs. And actually, you know, while yeah. we're at it, where's my phone? There was a post uh, by by Gary Wilkes just yesterday about personal protection dogs that I was going to repost because I completely agree with it. So let me find it here. Okay. Uh, All right, here we go. (laughs) Gary Wilkes said, owning a dog to protect your home and family is like using a set gun. That is a gun that acts as a booby trap and goes off when someone hits a trip wire or other trigger. Why are they similar? You know the trigger and aren't likely to set it off. Your immediate family may know it. However, children are notoriously inept with truly dangerous things. Your Uncle Ned from Milwaukee may come in with a bit too much brewski in his brisket and kablam. <laughs> Worse, the bug guy's in spraying and kablam. kablam. That's why set guns are illegal. Too bad legislators legislators don't realize that serious dog attacks are no different than set gun booby traps. They're actually worse because the dog can move around. The dog may also escape and civil authorities have to catch and control a violent animal. Here's the straight dope. There are people who have a right to enter your property. Utility and postal workers, for instance. The penalty for simple trespass is not dismemberment before (laughs) adjudication. (laughs) If your protection dog sparks at the wrong person, you may be liable for civil and criminal penalties. You could lose your house. So the best use of a dog is to bark until you invite someone in your home. Few do that. Most bark wildly and stay aroused well after you let the person in, leading innumerable bites of the wrong guy. In the real intrusion, the bad guys kill the dog. That is the dog's best use, to distract the bad guy and give you more time to aim. A decent pump shotgun is about $400, A tactical training course is about another $400. A trained protection dog is up in the thousands. (laughs) One you could trust is going to be over $10,000, which is true, sometimes significantly more. So there are people out there training protection dogs that are charging like $20,000, $25,000 or more for them. Mm. You could trust the dog, but you trust your kids. Question, what if little Billy gives the dog a command to scare Mikey? (laughs) So basically, Gary Wilkes says yeah. everything in this kind of like uh, like comedic humor, yeah. like poking fun at the situation <laughs> slash making fun of you kind of way, oh, right? Yeah. In a nutshell, what he's getting at is when you get into pr- – and how I'm correlating this to this, obviously, this is a dog that this guy clearly likes. Look at his face, right? He clearly likes that the dog is rehearsing this behavior. He's like, oh, oh, look. Oh, shh, shh. It's okay yeah. this time. <laughs> it's okay. Don't don't get too aggressive right yeah. now. But oh, look how badass my yeah. dog is! Right, so bad. Loser. Yeah. Right, you're a loser. Right? Loser. <laughs> you don't need a you don't need a protection dog. Right. Yeah. Here's the thing. Most people that contact me saying they want a protection dog are people that live in very very wealthy nice neighborhoods. Yeah. Right. Where they definitely don't need a protection dog in their no. area, and they give me the conversation of like, oh well, like. I travel for work all the time. My wife is home alone with the dog and this and that. It's like, dude, you live in a freaking million dollar house with like a gate. Like you're fine, right? Like your wife is going to be okay. Like get a security system put on your house or something. But you don't need a protection dog. Because as Gary's saying, most people that have dogs that are being protective, one, are not doing it from a trained standpoint. Like, this dog is not a controlled protection dog. No. Right? This dog is a dog that they're just letting do whatever it wants. Yeah. They're antagonizing to the point where it feels like it needs to start biting, but there's yeah. no on-off cue for it. Yeah. Right? Like he was saying, a true trained protection dog is a competent, stable confident dog yeah. that is going to be just chill and relaxed mm-hmm. and only cue off of certain situations that you determine. But mm-hmm. the problem with that is then, again, you know the trigger. Some other people know the trigger, <laughs> but people that don't know the trigger, you're running yourself a liability, right? Oh, so here's yeah. the thing. So 
I don't like this kind of stuff. I Anytime anybody calls me with protection training, I always tell them no, right? If you want to do fun sport protection training and you want to, like, teach your dog to tug and, like, teach him to bite a little sleeve and stuff because you think it's fun, that's fine. But that's different. That's not protection training. That to the dog is just a game, yep. right? To them, the bite sleeve or the bite suit is just a big toy. And if it's not on the person, they're not going to have that same response, Yeah. right? Yep. So if you want to do that, I don't have as much of an issue with that. But when you get into actual protection dogs and you get dogs that are actually displaying aggressive behaviors towards other people and if you're you're encouraging that or you're happy about that you need to really question why that's the case yeah um i'm not very into this kind of stuff